Hi everyone, welcome to Salesforce Techbook. Today our topic is Global Picklist. In today's session, I want to talk about what is Global Picklist or Picklist Value Set. What is the difference between Custom Picklist field and Global Picklist? How to create a Global Picklist? How this feature is useful and when it is recommended to create Global Picklist? And how to promote a Custom Picklist as Global Picklist? Let's start with what is Global Picklist. Global picklist is a custom set of values that you create to share with more than one picklist field. These are custom picklists that we are going to create in Salesforce. They allow us to define a set of standardized picklist values that can be used across multiple objects and fields in the org. Basic point is sharing a single list of values, sharing a single set of values across many custom picklist fields. This is useful because it eliminates the creation of identical picklists multiple times in different objects. Let me take an example. In some school management app, I have some custom objects like student, staff, Olympia tests like that. I want to have a pick list of subjects in some of the objects. I want to have a pick list with the subjects values. So one way of doing this is creating a pick list in whichever object you want to have that pick list field, creating that pick list field in every object. Doing this way creates some challenges. What are those? Of course, it is time consuming. And here we are creating identical pick list multiple times, which causes a data redundancy. And one more point is whenever you want to do any modification, if you want to add a value or change some value, that modification need to be done in every picklist field. So to avoid this, we can create a global picklist, global picklist value set with all the values with the subjects values and then access that global picklist while creating the picklist field in any object. Let's start creating the global value set from quick find pick list value sets. Here you can see all the global value sets. Create a new one, giving the label as subjects. Enter the values here. I want to display them in alphabetical order. Here we don't have any option to make it as restricted or unrestricted because global picklist value sets are restricted by nature. They cannot be unrestricted. Continue, save it. I already created this global value set. Here we can see the active values. How we manage the values of pick, custom picklist, those options are similar here also. Creating new values, reorder, replace, deactivate, delete, all those options are similar in global value set also. Now we will create the pick list field in any object. Let us take staff object. Fields and relationships. New. New pick list field. Naming it as teaching subject. Use global pick list value set and the value set is subjects. Here these options are not highlighted because everything is controlled in the value set itself. So next, making this available to all these profiles, saving it in staff layout. So now we have created a custom pick list called teaching subject. What is the difference between custom pick list and global pick list? Custom pick list tied to a particular object as a field on that object. Whereas global pick list exists independent and the value set can be reused in any custom pick list field. That means it is not tied to a particular object. Its values can be shared with any pick list that is based on it. Right? Now let's create another pick list in student object. This time I am creating a multi select pick list 
multi select pick list naming it as opted subjects use global va pick list value set and the value set is subjects I want the visible lines as 5. Next, making this available to these profiles, save. Now we have created a multi select pick list based on the global value set in the student object. Let's see how it is in the user interface. student object click on new here we got the multi select pick list opted subjects we can choose the values the opted subjects for that particular student we can select like this this is multi select pick list we have created both single select and multi select custom pick list based on global value set so let's go back to the slides now. Global pick list is restricted by nature and we cannot convert them to unrestricted. Because of this, it is protecting the values because changing global values can modify the values for all the fields. Next point is promote to global value set. How can we promote a custom pick list as global pick list? I want to explain it with the example. Here in the staff object, I have created a custom pick list called courses. Later on, the requirement has come like a pick list field needs to be created on another object with the same values as the previous pick list values. We need the same pick list in another object also. Then what can we do? For sharing the same set of values across multiple objects, we use global pick list value set. But here we have already created the pick list with the values that we need in another object. In this case, we can convert the existed custom pick list as global pick list value set. To promote or to convert a custom pick list as global pick list, it needs to be a restricted pick list. We, we have learned that global pick lists are restricted by nature. So, to promote a custom pick list as global pick list, it needs to be a restricted pick list first. So, let's convert this courses pick list as global pick list. Here, edit. Promote to global value set. That option is here. Give it a label. I'm giving us courses available. Promote to global value set. Now this one is available as a global value set. Quick find pick list value sets. All the global value sets are here. The courses available has come as a global value set. Once the global value set is created, we can access that while creating any pick list field in any object. Right? Let's go back to the slide. While promoting a custom pick list field as a global value set, we need to remember some considerations. We can promote only restricted pick list. To promote an unrestricted pick list, convert it to a restricted pick list first. Then we can promote that as a global value set. The values limit to promote a custom pick list to a global value set is up to 1000 values. And we cannot promote a custom pick list field to an existing global value set. We cannot add a custom pick list values to an existing global value set. Whenever we are promoting a custom pick list field to a global value set, a new global value set is created. We cannot promote standard pick list as global pick list. Only custom pick list we can promote as global value set. These considerations we need to remember while promoting a custom pick list field as a global value set. I hope you are clear about global pick list. 
In the next session, I will come up with the field dependencies. Keep learning. Thank you so much and please subscribe to Salesforce Techbook.